Good morning and welcome to Windsor this first Sunday in May. My name is Cheryl Rita. I'll be your liturgist this morning. I have several announcements. We will be serving seafoam on the 18th of May. These are the casserole dishes with the recipe that are in the back of the church. There's a sign-up sheet and again the, the recipe and the, the casserole dish is included. So just grab one and make it and bring it back on that day. We have proclamation on Monday. We have outreach on Tuesday and nurture on Tuesday. We have no nurture on Tuesday. No nurture on Tuesday. Okay. We have Women Windsor of Faith on Thursday morning at 10.15, and the different choirs are rehearsing this um, Thursday. Next Sunday, May 14th, we want everyone in the sanctuary, before you go to Sunday school, to come back to Fellowship Hall for pie and ice cream in honor of Mother's Day. So make sure you next Sunday you all come back to the Fellowship Hall next Sunday for Mother's Day celebrate with pie and ice cream. Um, at communion today, the children made these little fish for you. It says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So grab one when you come up for communion this Sunday. Any other um, announcements? Joys and concerns? wonderful to be with you uh, this morning. Amen. For those that get worshiping with us on Facebook, we are just so blessed uh, that you are worshiping with us. So welcome, welcome. As we gather this morning, we often come together uh, with prayers and joys, uh, prayers on our hearts and our minds. Um, and so we want to take a moment and offer those up unto the Lord. Will you pray responsibly with me? <coughs> Almighty God, we offer up these people and situations in our world today for those who need the necessities of life, food, clothing, sheltered relationships. Lord, be mercy, hear our prayers. For those suffering sickness and disease, be it physical, mental, or spiritual. Lord, be mercy, hear our prayers. For those who have suffered tragic events or natural disasters, Lord, be mercy for our prayer. For our world, those in war-torn countries, for the political divides. Lord, be mercy for our prayer. For those who are grieving loss, no matter the time frame. Lord, be mercy for our prayer. For those who are in abusive, evil situations. Lord, be mercy for our prayer. For those suffering from addiction, Lord, be mercy, hear our prayer. For those who feel all alone, who feel alone, or can't get the pain to stop, Lord, be mercy, hear our prayer. For those who don't know you and the power of your resurrection, Lord, be mercy, hear our prayer. Receive all these prayers, O God, and those still resting on our hearts, minds, and souls. We offer these prayers with the prayer that Jesus taught us. Join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. 
For those that are able, please stand and join me in the call to worship. We shout our proclamation to all the world. Christ is still risen. Christ is still risen indeed. Gaze into heaven and see the glory of God. Lift up your eyes to behold the risen Christ. God is our rock of heaven. A song of words. Christ Jesus and guides us every day. Indeed, you have tasted the goodness of God. You have known the presence of Christ, God's chosen one. Every day we long for truer spiritual help. Every day we are inspired by the living Christ. Then let us lay our troubles at Christ's feet. Let us enter the sanctuary God prepares for us. We have come to find the way, the truth, and the life. We are here to ask and to receive and to serve. Our opening hymn is We Have a Story to Tell to the Nations, number 569 in your hymnal.
Keep us from judging those who views different from our own, or from throwing stones at those who whom we disagree. Incline your ear to us and rescue us from ourselves. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. You may be seated. Our gospel lesson this morning is John 14, 1 through 7. Four, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you what, that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will take you to myself. So that's where I am. There you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going? Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks This morning the children are going to sing you a song that they have been uh, practicing in church for, in Sunday school for the last couple of years. Our lessons have been on wonder, and we made these little wonder boxes. And we would fill, and we would fill them with fun little things. And so this year, we're going to let everybody take them home. We've been filling them up for the last couple of years. So uh, let me get set up, and then we'll have the children come up. So...
continuation of our gospel reading, our gospel lesson in John, the 14th chapter, we'll now read verses 8 through 14. Philip in response said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. <clears throat> will you bow your heads with me just briefly? Eternal God, our Lord, we thank you so much for this worship experience. God, for the songs that have been shared and sung, for the prayers that have been prayed, oh God, even for your word that has been read for our hearing, we pray that it makes a change, a difference within us, that we might become more and more like you. Now, oh God, please allow the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, let it be acceptable in thy sight, for you are indeed my Lord, my strength, my Redeemer. In Christ's name I pray, always giving thanks. Amen and amen. Many of you know that I have an older daughter, uh, Lakeisha, that lives in Dallas. And as we've been traveling to Dallas, I have to tell you the first couple of times traveling to Dallas um, was quite journeyful. <laughs> we would travel to Dallas and we tried taking, you know, the, the, the shortest route um, and that was through some small towns that it seemed like forever to travel. We, we took a no tolls road which was also through some small towns and whew, that took forever as well. Um, we, we were following, the, you know, our good old navigation uh, GPS on our phones, and uh, we even took a route, um, uh, you know, if you put in the address, um, it takes you, um, you have different choices of routes, and so we, we've taken many different routes. And finally we asked my daughter, what, what do you think the best route is? You know, she lives in Dallas, she's gone that way more times than we have. And she said, you should take 35, That's the, that seems to be the best and the quickest route, and, and it seems to get it that, Take 35, and so we started taking uh, pretty much 35, almost all the way to Dallas, right? And sure enough, it was the better route. There are many routes that we could, could have taken, but because we asked someone who knew the route, we found out the best route to go. There are many different directions that we can take. And how do we know the way? In our scripture reading. In John, it opens up by saying, Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go prepare a place for you? And if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. Isn't 
isn't that a scripture that we often hear at funerals? <laughs> I know it's a scripture that I've often read um, at funeral services. To bring comfort to, 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 to the family, but also assurance, right? That, that Jesus has gone before us and has promised us that we can come to where he is. For he has prepared a place. It continues to say that, that Thomas said, Lord, we know not where you are going. How can we know the way? Has anyone ever been lost? Yeah, yeah, lost, can't find your way, even if you're trying to find directions, right? <laughs> It's best if you can make connection with somebody who knows where they're going. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. To find the way, it's best to talk to somebody who has gone that way. And as we hear Jesus say these words, that I am the way, then you will know the way if you follow me. There is a 20th century uh, theologian by the name of Karl Barth. And he was lecturing in, in one of his classes. And a student asked him, don't you think that God has revealed God's self in other religions and not only in Christianity? Ah, oh, that's a question after my own heart. <laughs> right? Surely, has not God revealed God's self in, in, in other religions other than Christianity? Listen to Karl Barth's response. He said, no. God has not revealed God's self in any religion, including Christianity. God has revealed God's self in his son. Woo! My. You mean God is not revealed in throughout Christianity, in 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 in, in Catholicism and, and all the religions of the world. You mean God is not revealed in that? Carvalho says no. God is revealed in God's Son. You see, beloved, there is no other one who has died and risen from the dead. Not in and of themselves, for in and of themselves, but for all humanity. That's a sacrificial tone, <laughs> an atonement uh, for us that we might have the ability, the right, to also go to the place where, which has been prepared for us. That's the revelatory nature of God through Jesus Christ. We're called to follow Christ and not religion. Those, you know, those who follow Christ uh, back first century questions were after the day of Pentecost that 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 began to spread the good news, the gospel of Christ, unto tens of thousands for two and three decades. You, you know, at first they were not called Christians, but they were called followers of the way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth. And the life. That these folks were, were called followers of the way. And as followers of the way, they became what 1 Peter defines as cho a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that they may proclaim the mighty acts of him who 
called them out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once we were people, we were not a people, but we are God's people. Once we had not received mercy, but now we have received mercy. As followers of the way, believing in Christ, the fulfillment of the promise of God unto us, we too are followers of the way. The way through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as followers of the way, as, as people of God, this, this royal people, this royal uh, priesthood and holy nation, as followers of Christ of the way, we are to also help others to find the way. Makes sense that we are people of the way. That, that terminology of Christianity, of, of, of becoming a Christian, a, a follower of Christ. It's all about being a follower of the way of Christ. Directing folks to Christ so that they too may follow the path of Christ. Christ is God to prepare a way for us. Christ knows the way. And if we follow Christ, we may be able to show others the way. What's the way? Christ has taught us. Christ, Christ taught the disciples before he died and even after he died. The way is love. The way is truth. The way is righteousness, right living. What does right living look like? It, like? it looks like living in truth and in honesty and in care and love with one another. It's about showing people that the most valuable thing in their life is developing a relationship with God. So that they too may see and may recognize the way of God. We don't always live according to the way. We look at this world and, and we can see the ways in which often we don't live in the way. Love is often not extended unto all. Often in the name of, of all kinds of justifications. But if we allow love to be all that love is supposed to be, all are welcomed. That we might see God in each and every one so that whatever justification that we might have to treat someone in a negative or harsh way, thinking that they deserve it. We're not called to judge. We're called to love. And indeed, there are rules in this, in this world that we must live by, but let those rules be led by love. That's the way. I mean, that, that, that Jesus would so much sacrifice his life so that we might receive all of God's love and live in the way. God, oh God, help us to be followers of the way. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Lord, we thank you so much. God, for reminding us that it's not about religion. It's not about the structures or the institutions that we create. It's not about even defending some sense of 
morality or, or a way of living. But it's simply by following the way. Following Christ, who has declared that he is the way. God, help us. Help us to live in the truth and the light of that. Help us to re-examine the things that we do, why we do them, even all the way down to the traditions that we have. And if they don't point directly to Jesus, to the ways in which he has taught us to love one another, to give of one, to, uh, one, to one another, to care for one another, to see about the suffering and the lost, the children and the widows, the sick and the imprisoned, those hungry and those thirsty. Christ shows us the way. Help us, oh God, to be followers of the way, to lead others. In Christ's name, we pray. Amen. I invite you now to a moment of prayerful reflection. Christ took bread, 
gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here, and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. The table has been set and is prepared just for you. You're welcome to come and feast at the Lord's table. If you need a gluten-free option, please let us know we have those available.
God, thank you. Thank you for meeting us at the table and delivering unto us, oh God, the greatest gift in Jesus Christ and calling us to become followers of the way. God, as we leave this table, empower us that we may show others the way to Christ. In Christ's name, amen and amen. It's now time for us to receive our tithes and our offerings. Also want to be mindful of our gratefulness jar. There's a jar back on the table back there that's full of hearts. And we have um, been taking some of those hearts and just passing those to uh, people that we cross paths with just to let them know that we are grateful for them. Now stand with me as we receive our tithes and offerings and sing our song of praise, Bless Thou the Gifts.
with an announcement and then I'll give a closing benediction. My name is Sharon Hawthorne and I'm a representative of the Ministry Resources Group uh, that's been uh, meeting. And uh, I, uh, and that group serves as the Staff Parish Committee. Um, so on last Monday, uh, District Superintendent Ron Carlson um, met with us to inform us that Windsor will be getting a full-time pastor starting July 1st. Uh, Pastor LaTanya will be working at the conference as, and I hope I get this right, the Director of Leadership, Excellence, Diversity, and Inclusion. Oh, I got it right. Um, District, uh, District Superintendent Carlson uh, will meet with, with this, the Ministry Resources Group again to tell us uh, who our new pastor will be. Uh, he hopes to do this prior to annual conference at the beginning of June. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask members of the Ministry Resources Group, which is, if you want to raise your hands, that would help Bill Keck, Charlotte Raddock, uh, Gayla Bellin, Christine McFarlane, Carol Bidler, Linda Van Rogel, Wendy Eckhart, Woody Bell, and myself. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. We um, always, always a difficult um, announcement to receive, but this we know, God has been faithful unto us, um, and so God is before us, and if we just keep our eyes on Jesus, as followers of the way, all shall be well. Beloved, let's pray together. May you go in peace as people of the way. May you love and care for one another in the name of Jesus Christ. And may the blessings of God go with you. May the Holy Spirit uphold you and sustain you. And may the sun shine upon the path you walk and guide you day by day. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen.